evening and welcome to CTV News at 5. I'm Katie Kelly. And I'm Jason Baxter. Thanks for joining us. First of five tonight, whale of a time. White shark sightings grab headlines, but whales are showing up in abundance in our waters too this summer, including the Bay of Fundy, making it a banner season for whale watching charters. CTV's Nick Moore looks into why are we seeing so many cetaceans this summer. Nick? Well, good evening, Katie and Jay. We've been talking a lot about the extreme ocean temperatures being recorded right now, and that could be having an impact on where whales are going. Oh. <gasps> Holy moly! Whales are putting on a show all around the Bay of Fundy, including here on New River Beach, New Brunswick, on Monday, and across the bay, too, off Briar Island in Nova Scotia. We're having fantastic sighting, so it's uh, it's been really good. Whales on every cruise, so we're very happy about that. There he is. <gasps> Old Tom, the only North Atlantic killer whale in the Bay of Fundy, popped up Sunday night off the coast of Grand Manan. I think they caught on pretty quickly when their naturalist on the boat, and I've been here for 22 years, is full on crying on the upper deck. There are up to 12 different species of whales found in the Bay of Fundy, including the rarest of them all, the North Atlantic right whale. The Bay of Fundy for about 30 years was the location where right whales, a lot of right whales went every summer to feed. Sean Brilliant with the Canadian Wildlife Federation and Dalhousie's Department of Oceanography grew up watching right whales in the Bay of Fundy. There's a deep hole in the Bay of Fundy where cold water and nutrients mix and they grow this thick, thick mass of bugs and that's what the whales would go and eat. We realized those bottom waters started warming up and then the bugs couldn't grow there so the whales uh, gradually diminished their time in the Bay of Fundy and kind of abandoned the whole area by about 2015. Right now the Atlantic Ocean around here is alarmingly warm. The only, I guess, maybe exception is where you are. Basically, the, the Bay of Fundy has such high tides that the water is always really well mixed, so they get a really small temperature anomaly. And that could be having an impact on whale movement. We're living in a very variable environment now. The ocean warms up and then it cools down, and now we're dealing with very, very warm surface ocean, for example, but that doesn't mean the deep waters are acting the same way. It's entirely possible that the Bay of Fundy, it has a lot of the, the shape and the conditions to grow these animals. And if the temperatures get right again, it'll grow the, it'll grow the bugs that the animals are, that the whales are looking for. Now we have focused primarily on the Bay of Fundy here, but of course we've been hearing about uh, whale appearances all across our region, proving the point that while experts are sure of the destination of these whales, how they get to where they're going has apparently become more variable year to year. Katie and Jay.